the toughest things to deal with an image is the ability to have good looking skies. And Aurora HDR offers two useful controls. One is going to make it easy to adjust from top to bottom, and the other is going to remove glare. Let's start with the polarizing filter. This is going to simulate what a traditional circular polarizer would do on a camera, and that is cut down on some of the glare and reflections. In this case, you see that it's affecting the sky the most and really increases the contrast in some of the really washed out areas. Additionally, the adjustable gradient lets you make an adjustment from top to bottom. I'm going to choose to set the orientation here and place this right on the horizon and then create a very gentle transition. Now, if you're using a version on Windows, you might need to do this with sliders, depending upon the release that you have. Now, I can do things like pull down the bottom exposure a little bit and warm up the bottom of the scene. Come to the top here, and I'm going to recover exposure and a little bit of highlights, but lift the shadows and increase contrast. That looks good. And let's cool down the top to bring out those storm clouds. That looks good. I really like how that's come together. Now, I could just refine this a little bit here with contrast. And I like how it's helping me emphasize the clouds at the top while leaving the bottom of the image untouched. Remember, if needed, you can click Set Orientation and come back over here and adjust this, as well as angle this to accommodate for any tilt in the scene or perspective that you want to emphasize. And this gives you a lot of flexibility to adjust the top and bottom independently. All right, that's looking really good. Let's continue.